Hi, this is Bill, the Techno Gypsy. In this video, I want to share with you the problems I got into when I expanded my 2017 iMac with a LG 5K second monitor onto the system onto the Thunderbolt 3 port in the back. One of the problems that I ran into after I expanded to the second monitor on my system was that if I was editing a 4K multicam video file, I would get stuttering when I was going into the timeline and trying to play the timeline, and I'd have to play it in short segments, so I knew that it was doing a lot of rendering in the background. So one of the solutions I looked at on correcting was to increase the 32 gig of memory on my iMac and to max it out, which the max, according to OWS, was 64 gig of memory. So I upgraded the memory to 64 gig. Then the next thing I came across to do would be to put on an eGPU. I'd looked at the black magic from Apple and decided that that was too old of a GPU card. So I picked up a Razer X Chrome on the enclosure over here, and I picked up a 5700 XT because it's supported by Apple. Well, after I picked up the eGPU, I ran into the problem that I've only got two Thunderbolt 3s on the back of my iMac. And I'm trying to drive a 5K, the LG 5K monitor, the eGPU, and my Drobo. So I needed three Thunderbolt 3 ports. I did find, or I did a pre-order to OWS on a Thunderbolt 3 hub, and I'll see how that's going to work. But one of the things that I came across on, on Amazon was this cable. Now, this cable is from a company called Club 3D. It's a USB Type-C cable to display port 1.4. The 5700 XT GPU card has four display ports on it, and that's it. It doesn't have a Thunderbolt 3. But one of the things about this cable is it is a USB Type-C cable to display port 1.4, and it goes up to 8K at 60 hertz. Now one of the things I really looked for was a bi-directional cable so that I could go from display port to USB-C or USB-C to display port. Well when I went over the specs on this cable I found that this cable does support 5k. On YouTube a lot of the creators have said that you cannot drive this LG 5k monitor uh, with anything except Thunderbolt 3, because it's using uh, DisplayPort 1.4 that has two DisplayPort channels and a bunch of other the technical specifications in the Thunderbolt 3 spec. Well, I found that when I plugged into the DisplayPort on the eGPU and I plugged the USB-C in into the LG 5K monitor, but a bing it works fine. Now, I have seen problems that if my system goes into a sleep mode and I bring it out of sleep mode, sometimes I will lose the second monitor. All I have to do there is I unplug the display port connector from the GPU card, let it sit out for about 10 seconds to reset, plug it back in, everything is working fine. And I personally love this ability of having both monitors for the increased workspace on the video. Again, what I have done is since I only have two Thunderbolt 3 ports on the back of the iMac, I take one of the Thunderbolt 3s and it goes down directly to my Drobo drives. And by the way, I did pick up two of the $130 Apple Thunderbolt 3 cables and they did make a difference. When you go past about 18 inches on length, on the Thunderbolt 3 cables, you need an active cable, it's worth the $130. So the way I've got this hooked up is I have one Thunderbolt 3 port directly going into my Drobo drives. The second Thunderbolt 3 port connects over here to my eGPU. And then I use this cable that goes into the display port on the GPU card and comes right over into the Thunderbolt connector on the back of the LG 5K monitor and everything works fine. 
So I hope that helps any other creators out there that may be having these same type of issues. It does fully support the LG 5K monitor. If you like the content on this video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. This is Bill the Techno Gypsy saying 7-3 and God bless.